This is a video description of a 1935 Gibson EHG 150. So that designation is Electric Hawaiian Guitar. <coughs> 150 uh, was the selling price of the guitar and amp. So you could buy this uh, metal body Gibson guitar and its matching amp for $150. They changed the designation to E150 and then to when the first wood body replacement for this guitar came out to EH Electric Hawaiian uh, 150, drop the G. So this particular guitar is the guitar that's featured in the Gibson Lap Steel book, 35 to 67. Um, it was owned by Francois Charlie who had a guitar store in Paris and was co-author of the book with Mr. Duchois. So these were the first uh, Charlie Christian design pickups. They were unbound. The later ones had uh, triple uh, white, black, white binding around the edge. This one not. Um, controls on either side of the body. Make all right knobs. The shirt finish to the neck. Gibson decal. Very heavy little guitar. Access to the electronics through that plate. Oh, shipped. It's in the Gibson uh, register that I have a copy of. The page was uh, this guitar was shipped on uh, the 1st of December 1935. I always thought it was a 1936 guitar, but it's actually 1935. The uh, case uh, tweed matches the tweed on the amp with the GT stripes. And this is the second version of the amp. The first version had a small uh, timber shelf or pocket on the left hand side where the cord would uh, be stowed or I'm assuming that was what it was for but they uh, deleted it on this version. Very simple, no controls, two inputs, on off switch and uh, fuse. And red power light and the uh, when you've uh, finished playing the case closed up with these latches so a little suitcase and 